Since my dad went my life. I I I have. Because I look because I like to uh I like to give me the new controller because I love the new controller of PS2. PS3 I want your Xbox. From the Buccaneer Cove to the 103-foot pirate ship, when you walk into Raymond James Stadium, you just know you're in a special place. And this will be our host for what we expect to be a good matchup between Kansas City and Tampa Bay. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? With clear skies in the forecast, we should be set for tonight's game. Thanks for joining us. Tom Hammond here, and beside me, Chris Collinsworth. Here's the opening Ooh. kick. Fielded at the nine. Chris, any comments before we kick this one off? We should see both of these teams trying to establish a good balance on offense in this one. Whoever can do that should be able to win this thing. They come out in a nickel. And they motion a guy to the right. First down, looking to throw. Passes the 40 and they get him at the 35 a good looking pass that time speed is what this game's all about do you have somebody who can create this kind of offense with his speed and maybe defensively do you have anybody out there that has a chance against them <laughs> setting up play action pass the line he dies. A big game for the quarterback. Who says quarterbacks aren't athletes? He looked pretty good on that play. Nice job. Found the hole. Got upfield. Got down without getting injured. Good play. Tampa Bay motions left. They'll throw on first down. Looking for an open man. Pass completed. Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Well, this quarterback isn't always perfect, but when he gets hot, he can make throws like that into small spots that are so impressive. They're lining it up for the point after point after is good. Tampa Bay is up a score. Here's a quick look at the drive somewhere. Kicks it off. Hit and drop at the 21-yard line. Their offense will step onto the field for the first time, hoping to come away with some points on this possession. They come out in a goal line set. The Chiefs motion to the left side. Setting up play action. Tipped away. That incompletion will bring up second down. Second down. 
They line up at the 21. Big set this time with two tight ends. Nice play fake. Throws it short. Incomplete. Darling was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. Third and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Broyle lines up under center. Only one in the backfield this time. He's looking to throw. He needs to get the pass off. Throws into coverage, and it's intercepted. He gets in for six. And how about the dunk after that play? Don't forget these goalposts are ten feet high. I think he would have had a pretty impressive slam dunk appearance on that one. Kick is up. Up and good. He kicks it. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. The Chiefs line up in the shotgun. Five wide receivers are split up. They'll throw on first down. And he catches it. Looks like we have an injured player on the field. now and 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Tosses it out. Hit and drop behind the line. Not what they were looking for on that play call. You know, for a running back, there comes a point in time where you say, all right, this play is not working. Let me just get as much as I can and try to get it back to the line of scrimmage. And they use motion. Broyle looking to throw. Short throw to the right. He's dropped at about the 37-yard line. They'll gain eight on the play. That'll make it third down. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 38. Kansas City comes out with three receivers in a single back formation. Drops back to pass. Fires it out. Catch is made. He's tackled at the 40. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. They hand it off again. They tackle him for a loss. He couldn't get anywhere on that. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 14-0. Chiefs come out with three wide receivers. Quarterback in the shotgun. Johnson takes it left. Might have been hurt on that one, but it appears it isn't too serious. They'll line it up again on third down. The Chiefs come out showing three wide. Three 
Coyle is looking to stay perfect on this drive. And he made a great open field tackle. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you're standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. Coyle has completed every pass on this drive. It's picked. Looks like he's a bit shaken up on that one. It's first and ten. Three wide receiver. Here's the give. Brought down around the 11-yard line. Four-yard gain on the play. That'll bring up second down. Second down, six yards to go. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Straight ahead with a fullback. And they get him right around the 16-yard line. Not a bad run by the fullback there. Now here's a guy that typically is in there just to block, but when he does get an opportunity to carry the football, you can see he gets excited, and here he got the job done. From their own 17-yard line. Tampa Bay comes to the line with three wide. Graham gets the carry. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. They need to come up with a better game plan to stop this guy. Yeah, you're not kidding. They can't keep giving up those big chunks of yardage like that. They do. It's going to be awfully tough to stop this offense. Again with the carry. He doesn't get back to the line. Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. Tampa Bay uses motion. He drops back to pass. Now he's scrambling. Makes the grab. Huge tackle. He was gone. And they connect that time on the deep ball. And typically we're talking about how accurate this quarterback is. But if you start taking chances with him, he still has the ability to get that deep ball down the field on you. They line up at the 44. Tampa Bay motions left. Fakes to the back. He scrambles away. With the cap. He's tackled at the 12. He'll hurry back to the line. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Clayton takes off to the left side. Setting up play action. Goes for the end zone. It's incomplete. That play is worthy of another look. Fakes the run. Oh, and they got it. Without a doubt. Who's motion? They motion to the left. The Buccaneers call for a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. Second down and 15 to go. They go with the run. Tackle at the 17. I'd say he got one or two feet on that run, and so it'll be third down. It's third and 15. Ball on the 17. Done is the single setback. He drops back. Makes the throw out to his left. Almost picked. Here's play number 10 on this drive. It looks like the defense is only going to pressure with three linemen. Drops back. He's scrambling. Batted away. 
and the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. And he gets brought down hard. Can I take time now? Tap of the offense calls a timeout. And that was their third and final timeout. All right, that's good. All right, that's good. Here's the kick. Yes. at the 25. And we've come to halftime here. The score is 17-0. Thanks, Tom. Well, at least one of these teams had a good first half. Here are some of the first half's highlights. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. He looks to throw on first down. They get to him. I would expect to see a little better protection from the guys up front on the offensive line. Yeah, I have to agree. When you start giving up sacks like that, it really changes the complexion of the game. And I think in particular, the quarterback who has this clock in his head working, he starts to anticipate when the pressure is going to get there. And if he starts thinking it's going to happen sooner, all of a sudden the timing of your offense is completely off. Throws out to the right. He drops it. That last play didn't get them the first, and now they're looking at third down. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 17. Kansas City lines up in a shotgun set. Looking to throw. He throws it. And they get him around the 26-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. He gets it away. Hilliard takes it at the 36. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. And that was a nice little punt return there. Wow, I thought he was gone for a second. They did a good job getting to him, at least preventing the touchdown. Of course, they wouldn't have to chase him down like that if they'd have done a better job covering the punt. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. After that run, they might want to give him the ball a few more times. I agree. It looks like the defense is a little tired out there. Whatever the case, they're having a tough time now stopping the run. They go with the run. Brought down at the 32-yard line. A nice job with the running back as they pick up a gain of eight. Tampa Bay lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. They hand it off. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. They hand it off. 
and they get him at the 26 yard line. They needed the first on that play, and he delivered. Nice run on third down that time. Boy, you can tell the confidence they have in this running back. They're going to feed him the ball in difficult situations, and he came through there. They'll throw on first down, and the defense has a heavy rush. Tackle at the 16-yard line. 10-yard gain that time. First and ten, ball on the 16-yard line. Kansas City brings in the nickel here. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. The defense just ate up that play. Well, those defenders get paid, too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. Garcia hands it off. He's tackled at the 17. He got what he could, and it wasn't much, and that makes it third down. Garcia hands it off straight ahead. He's brought down around the 16-yard line. Well, they tried to push it ahead, but the defense stopped them short the first down. Looks like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. They call him the field goal unit here. This will be a 33-yard field goal attempt. Set down. The kick is up. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive somewhere. Here's the kick. Charles fields it at the one. Brought down at the 24-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. Back to pass. Passes the ball. It's picked off. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Nice pick for the safety. You could see the quarterback that time trying to look the safety off, but this safety is, is simply that? too smart. He was having none of it and jumped in front to make the interception. First down, looking to throw. Tries for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Perfect execution on that pass play, Chris. Looked like the defense wasn't ready for that at all. You know, this defense just looked off balance this entire series. Great play calling all the way down the field and finally get rewarded with a touchdown strike. Up and good. And under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, the score, the Buccaneers 27, the Chiefs nothing. And here's the kick. He'll return it from the one. Big hit there to bring him down. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. They line up at the 23. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Kansas City sends a man in motion. He's looking to throw. And they're coming after him. Brings it in. Tackled at about the 31. Good job locating the gap in the coverage on that foot. Yeah, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run. Because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. He drops back to pass. Here's the pass. Is there for the catch. And they get him around the 38-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Two minutes left in the ball game. Johnson is the lone setback. Three receivers in the formation. Puts the pass. He needs to make a decision. And that was a great flip for the linebacker on that play. He just read that play perfectly. He was able to come free and get the quarterback. We're starting to see this more and more in the league now where guys fake like they're going into coverage, then come in for the sack. 
He drops back. And they got him. The Chiefs just took their first time out. Third and long now after the sack. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Drops back. He's under a heavy rush. He's got to find a way to hold on. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. It's fourth down. The Chiefs line up to punt. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. <laughs> Kicks it away. And he must have missed that one. It'll go out at the fourth. Fourth down. The Chiefs are lining up to put it away. Tampa Bay looks like they're sending everything but the kitchen sink at this point. Gets it away cleanly. Hilliard takes it at the 36. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he will score. What a return. And they continue to pour it off. Well, it's been a tough one so far. <laughs> it's bad luck when you're getting your head kicked in on offense and defense. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to do it on special teams, too. <laughs> Time to load up the bus. With just over a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is the Buccaneers, 34, the Chiefs, nothing. The kick. He's hammered at the 28-yard line. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. The Chiefs line up in an I formation. He looks to throw on first down. There for the catch. Brought down at the 39-yard line. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. They'll throw on first down. He throws a bullet out to his left. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. Excellent pass for the quarterback on that play. I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. Drops back with the hard throw out to his right. What an open field tackle. Bo picks up seven yards with that catch. That'll make it second down. The Buccaneers line up with six DBs on the field. Back to throw. Off his back foot. And he dropped him in the open field. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. Nice job by the quarterback in that situation. He saw the blitz coming, simply got the football out of there, and picked up the first down. He's looking to throw. Huge pressure by the defense. They're going to have to figure out a way to block him, or he's going to keep getting back there. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. This is one of those guys that's sneaky fast. Even when I watch him on tape, he looks fast and he looks talented, but then you see him in person, and all of a sudden he's turning that corner so much faster. <laughs> I think the same thing's happened to this offensive line. They weren't ready for this. This one will finally be over. Our score, the Buccaneers, 34, the Chiefs, nothing. Thanks. And as we finish this one up, here's a quick look at the key plays in the game. Well, thanks again for joining us for another great game of Madden NFL 09. We'll see you next game.